Hello everyone, it's Succulents Box. Today let's talk about how to grow and care for a very lovely succulent, Echeveria harmsii ruby slippers. Echeveria harmsii is one of the most distinct plants in the Echeveria family. It has thick and narrow fuzzy leaves with red tips and its rosettes are smaller and thinner than most Echeveria rosettes. Like most Echeverias, harmsii is relatively easy to care for but is still important to follow a correct care guide to keep your plant healthy and happy. Let's talk about lighting first. Harmsii loves bright light. It can thrive under full sun as well as partial shade, but if you want to make those gorgeous red tips stand out, give your plants at least 6 hours of morning sunlight or bright indirect light per day. Don't forget to protect Harmsii from the scorching afternoon sun to prevent sunburn. When it comes to watering, Echeveria harmsii has a typical watering need of a succulent. It does not need frequent watering, so it's important that you water only when the top two inches of the soil is dry to the touch and drain excess water completely after watering. First, water once a week with a watering bottle or use a bottom watering technique, then observe your plant's reactions and adjust the watering schedule accordingly. In terms of temperature, like most Echeverias, Harmsii cannot tolerate cold temperatures under 40 degrees. Since it thrives in USDA Zone 9A to 11A, it's best to avoid letting the succulents stay outdoors in the winter to avoid frost. We recommend keeping your Echeverias as indoor plants as most homes stay around 65 degrees to 75 degrees Fahrenheit year-round. Now in terms of soil, this succulent thrives in porous, well-draining soils. While most traditional cactus mixes are fine for an Echeveria, you can also modify any soil mixture using coarse sand or perlite to improve drainage. Fertilizer isn't necessary for Echeveria harmsii, but adding fertilizer during its growing season, which is in spring and early summer, can definitely help it flower and make the red tip stand out. To feed Echeveria harmsii, use a few drops of water-soluble fertilizer when it's time to water your succulent. Aside from choosing the correct soil, picking up the right pot is just as important. Best pots for succulents are pots made from porous materials like concrete, terracotta, and ceramic with drainage holes. However, members of the Echeveria family work well in pots made of water-retaining materials like glass or metal. Echeveria harmsii should be repotted once every one or two years during the growing season. When you do so, choose a pot that's at least 10% larger than the original one. The Echeveria harmsii boasts gorgeous orange, urn-shaped flowers during its springtime growing season. Just like the rest of the Echeveria family, Echeveria harmsii is not monocarpic, meaning the plant is not going to die after flowering. Instead, flowers are a good sign. As an added bonus, hummingbirds love this flower's vibrant colors and sweet nectar. If you happen to keep your ruby slippers outdoors or near an open window, you may spot a hummingbird grabbing a little drink. Echeveria harmsii propagation is easy with leaf cutting. Take a couple of fallen leaves or some leaf cuttings from as close to the stem as possible and let them callus over for a day. Then place the leaves in a fresh pot with soil. Give them bright indirect sunlight and mist the soil every so often to keep it moist and humid. You should start to see some root growth after a couple of weeks. Harmsii, like other Echeverias, goes dormant in the winter. It may appear discolored or droopy and it won't grow as fast as it usually would. During this time, give it less water to avoid overwatering and avoid repotting as well. Once temperatures begin to rise, the plant will leave its dormant stage and continue to grow as normal. Echeveria harmsii's common problems are mostly due to incorrect watering. When overwatered, the Echeveria harmsii may have bloated leaves that turn yellow or a lighter shade. Overwatering can also lead to mold growth and root rot, which will kill your plant if you aren't careful. On the flip side, underwatering leaves will appear wrinkly and will cause them to droop, and they may also appear brown. To avoid these problems, always check your soil's moisture content before you water. When you do water, always watch to make sure all excess water drains out from your pot and soil. Last thing is for the discerning pet parent. Echeveria harmsii and most Echeveria succulents are non-toxic, so they're safe to keep around animals and children. However, it's still best to avoid letting pets and anyone eat the leaves, as this will damage the plant. That's it for today, everyone. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and consider subscribing for more content. If you've got any questions or recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. Happy gardening! For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.